So this is what I'm going to show y'all about the bottom feeders on Gig Black. This is what they do. So y'all see here, I ask, now I have multiple stops. I have to make my money. The person who you're dropping off to is playing games with you, is trying to stop you from making your money. So this particular individual has to give me a pin code. So this is why I asked them right here, are you in a lobby? Because it was either I'm going to go drop, make this other stop, which is going to make it seven minutes later that I drop off to you. Or you're going to tell me you are in the lobby and I'm going to actually stop there and, and be able to drop off the food without having to wait, wait, uh, uh, wait eight minutes for a person to give me a pin code who's wasting my time and money. So you see why these people are on plantations, guys? Because these these are scumbags. They're scum of the earth. And they're trying to play you. They're trying to take money. Take They're actually trying to take money and food out of your pocket, out of your mouth. And so this individual asked me why the time keeps going up. Oh, so you are looking at your phone. So you could have asked me, were you in the lobby? When I asked you, uh, were you in the lobby? You could have answered the question. But you chose not to answer the question and, and you chose to keep looking at your phone and not answering the question, which meant that was going to waste my time. So there, these people from Gig Black are actually wasting our time. You see, this is what this is what a bottom feeder does. And this is why they own a plantation, because they're scumbags. But I blame get I blame uh, Gig Black for turning these people that way. They invite them. They invite all these scumbags on their platform because they don't care. They know the scumbags going to pay money for the food anyway. And so as y'all see here, I completely ignore the question. And I ask him again, are you in the lobby? And he doesn't answer. So see, this is a person that's, that's uh, basically on purpose wasting my time. You see, and looking at their phone the whole time, pretending that they don't know that they don't know where I am. This is what they do. You see? Now let me see let me see if this person actually actually answers. No, they still not answering the question. So it, and, and guess how much this this order is, guys? $2, a $2 order, scumbags, cockroaches. All these people gig black got on a platform is trying to get the food for free. And I don't care if he gives me a thumbs down. I know that's what he's gonna do. As a matter of fact, I can I can actually uh, I can actually call and say I dropped the food just for this person playing games with me. Let me see if this is the person right here. Hold on, y'all. Is this for Julio? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I have to get pin code. That's why I was asking. Excuse me? I have to get a pin code. That's why I was asking. Was the individual in the lobby? Because they was asking me, how come the time? We have to get pin codes. So that's why I was trying to find out. You have to get pin codes? We need pin code. A code, a four-digit code. Yeah, 8985, uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, it gave me that code, yep. Okay, and you got Panda. Yep. Have a good one. Thank you. Okay, I'm back, y'all. So y'all heard me. Y'all heard me talk to the customer. See, that's the that whole situation. They they're trying to set up the whole situation. That hold on, let me, let me fix this thing. They try to set up the whole situation to make to make you appear as if you're not doing your job. And they tried everything they could they could to reach you. They, I mean, they this is gig black, y'all. This is what they do. Now the reason I don't stay on gig red is because gig red only has the top orders in the city. And I can't go to the city because there's too many demons in the city. I tried to I tried to call myself heading to the city yesterday. As soon as I got to the almost close to the city, I saw accidents on the express. I say, see, there you go, demons on Friday night. You can't you can't uh, you can't deal with the city. And as I'm talking about this right now, as I'm talking about this right now. They go, uh, they go a 414, y'all see right there. <laughs> you see? And it's a 3312 on the side, and that adds up to a 9. So that's what happens with the gig black, guys. 
they're wasting they're wasting the driver's time and taking food and money out of our mouth. You know, it's it's amazing. You know, you come to find out too that ninety percent of the people you know in the world actually don't believe in God because. They don't believe in karma. They actually believe they can screw people over, take food and money out their mouth, and they believe somehow they can get away with it. So y'all see right here, 414. 3312 on the side, that's a nine. And so they don't think they're going to, people do bad stuff, and they actually uh, think that they're not going to get any karma for it. This is how most people think. It's to my surprise. Most people, uh, believe, uh, this is why I told y'all, feeling sorry for these monkeys on this plantation. No, I don't feel sorry for none of these people, for nothing. Now, this is a $2 order. This individual didn't even tip. I asked him a direct question. I have multiple stops. And by the way, a $2 order, they not paying, they not paying extra to get the food uh, handed directly to them. Anybody that has to give you a pin code for Gig Black, is going to make you sit there and waste almost 10 minutes of your time. That's why y'all see I asked the person in the beginning, are you in the lobby? Because I actually passed by the place. I said, if this person don't answer this question in five minutes, I'm going to drop off something else and then get to them. So as you see, they're trying to play me both ways. They're trying to play you, making you wait, taking, taking food and money out your mouth, out your pocket. They're doing that. And then at the same time, they're trying to get the food for free. And guess where this food is from, guys? Bear Express. Guys, let me tell you something. Bear Express is about to completely get scratched off my pickup list. Every single person that, or, guys, I don't know what it is. They like cockroaches. I don't believe they're actually human beings. How can every single person that eat that food try on a scam? I have not ran into one person that eats Bear Express that has a legitimate just pay for the food, drop off, fair and square and i don't know how long and that's a clear sign to me that i'm gonna have to take them off it's been other restaurants y'all know it i gotta take them off my list they cockroaches all of them it's unbelievable and that's not that's not human that's not humane these people are not human beings that eat that food it can't be you see and I can take and I can always afford to take a loss. Now let me tell y'all what I was gonna do. If this person, y'all just heard me drop off. If this person wasn't outside when I showed up, I was actually gonna call Gig Black and tell him I dropped the food. Wasn't even gonna deliver it to him. The person ended up being outside because they have to pretend. And keep in mind, they still didn't answer my question. I asked them two times, were you in the lobby? They didn't answer my question either time. All they're trying to do is get the food for free. They don't care about you. I could have a family, five, six kids on feet. They they don't know, they don't care. And it's mostly, it's all coming from this Bear Express place. They're all cockroaches, all of them. You see? And as, and as long as I keep taking Bear Express orders, Gig Black is going to keep sending them to me. So when I stop taking them, they're going to stop sending me those orders. They're going to realize, I mean, guys, Bear Express has gotten lower than uh, McDowell's. McDowell's used to be the bottom feeder central. Not anymore. Panda Panda Express is running that show. Hold on, hold on, guys. Let me see if I can drop this off. Oh, here's another one. Another pin code. Look at this, y'all. Another bottom feeder. All bottom feeders. See? All right, for Clara. Yeah, it's just asking me for a pin code. Uh, nine three eight nine. Thank you. Thank you. You too, guys. How is everybody having to give me a pin code for Gig Black? They they are because they are uh, they are enabling these people to steal food. That's how I know Gig Black is like a um, it's another type of program going on with them, like blood sacrifice type stuff going on, with, uh, especially in the taxi uh, industry. You see. Because they want to watch us from the cameras as, as the people kill each other. And they don't have to come in and do nothing. They don't got to take you to the camps, nothing. People will just do it. Uh, like, like Yuri Biznaval said, it's, a, it's, a, it's people doing it to other people. It's not your government. It's people doing it to other people. We're talking about wickedness. It's not actually the government, guys, that's doing it. No, it's, it's the people. Uh, you know how we know? Because what about power to the people? It is power in the people. The people are the one that allow this stuff to happen. It's them. It's their own greed. So you can't blame the government. That's a that's a cop out. 
we know that most a lot of these people are not human beings. They're demons, body snatched, possessed people. Don't believe that shit. Oh, it's the government. It's the government. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. All the government got to do is sit back and watch people eat each other alive. Once again, these people do not care whether I have a family to feed and they waste 10 minutes of my time. They don't care. So I just showed y'all all the proof. That's what happens. And that's what Gig Black is doing with these people. But uh, especially from Bear Express. Those people who eat, uh, people who eat from their customers, I, don't, I can't speak for the people who work there, but the people who eat from there, they're all cockroaches, y'all. I, this is like the 20th time in a row I dropped off from Bear Express and this cust some customer has been trying to steal food. I don't know what that shit is, y'all. Maybe y'all can explain that shit to me. Maybe y'all, one of y'all got a better explanation for why everybody keep trying. Why is it only Bear Express? It's not even McDonald's anymore, y'all. It's Bear Express. It's like a virus, a disease. Everybody that eats from there is trying to steal the food and play with the driver. So there y'all have it. Y'all seen it.